There's been a breakthrough in our efforts to learn more about the Terran Empire's operations in the Mirror Universe. Our intelligence forces would like you to be a part of the plan going forward. Report to our intel agent on Jupiter Station. They'll have more details for you there. Welcome to Jupiter Station. You'll pardon me if I dispense with the usual formalities, but uh, the urgency of the situation demands it, I'm afraid. If you'll follow me, I can show you to the briefing room. Our partners in the operation are waiting for us there. The briefing room isn't far. Ailea regained consciousness recently. We have her isolated for observation at the moment. Strangely, she's asked to speak with you. Quite urgently, I might add. You've arrived. We can now begin. I am called Ailea. I am a part of Vidra and speak on their behalf. I am that which was Ilea, and more, evolved, a part of Vija. Vija sensed the other, alike and yet different, a dark reflection, where Vija once wished to merge with their creator, the other, wishes to punish their creator for abandoning them to the void. Vija believes the other is being sought by those you know as Terrans. They believe the Terran leader wants to use the other for his own purposes, including conquest. Vija does not want this. I am here to help you prevent that from happening. Through Vija, I am able to move over great distances. The greater the distance, the more energy it requires, and the greater effect it has on me. When I was with Vija, we were very far from this universe. Traveling here came at great expense to me. The Emperor knows that I am a part of Vija, connected, somehow. He was able to redirect that connection to the other. The Terrans injured me. Instinctively, I called out to Vija. Only my calls were not heard by them. It was the other who heard me. And it wants to know more. It searches for me now. A crude term, but applicable. I believe the Emperor wanted to use my connection to lure the other into a trap, but I do not know why. I will go to the other. I will communicate with them as I would with Vija. I will try to reason with them to soothe their rage and prevents them from falling victim to the Terrans. The other is powerful and angry. They may not listen. I can only hope that in learning of Vija, they realize they are no longer alone. They may find hope. Do you have any more questions? That uh, was quite the feat. One hopes her trip to the Mirror Universe is not as taxing as her trip here, from wherever she was with Vija. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not big on placing my faith in one person. 
even a bald demigoddess from another dimension. So, what are we gonna do while she goes off to confront the other? Indeed, I'd like to begin with an intelligence briefing from one of our allies. They're a member of the Coalition, a resistance group in the Mirror Universe. Mr. Ray Eats, if you'd care to join us. Thank you, Commander, all of you, for your time. You're gonna want to hear this. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. This guy? He's a glorified pirate! Do restrain yourself, Admiral. Rayit has traveled a great distance at great risk to himself and his crew to deliver critical information on the enemy's activities. I'd ask you to respect that effort and hear what the man has to say. Thanks, Commander. Something big is going down on a planet called Pavo. Our Pavo, to be specific. We don't have a lot of time, so I'll get right to it if everyone's ready. Most Terrans fear Pavo. They think it's cursed. Truth is, it's a curse of their own making. Years ago, they started brutalizing it. Turned it into a monster. Then the monster turned on them. Needless to say, we were a little surprised when Tilly went to the Terrans' graveyard. Seems the Terrans got past their fear. And now? We have a new reason to fear them. Welcome to Pavo, my own personal hell. Never thought I'd be in this wasteland again, but... When the Emperor says go to Pavo, I go to Pavo. Better than going to an agonizer booth on the maximum setting. Not by much, but better. Indeed I have, Sunshine, several times. The first time was a long time ago. My enemies managed to get me assigned to this system. Got caught in an ion storm and wound up in that universe near the goody-goody version of Pavo. Oh, it was. I had a pretty sweet scheme in place there before some of the locals threw a wrench in the works. Managed to get away using Pavo's power. And much to my surprise, I wound up here instead of Risa. And I really wanted to go to Risa. Oh, you know, fought for my life, barely managing to survive, haunted by energy ghosts, business as usual on good old Pavo. Things were looking pretty bad, but one day, surprise, the Emperor sent some advanced scouts here as part of this big scheme of his, and they found me. Oh no, some of them immediately tried to kill me. Bad move. The ones who survived realized someone like me who figured out how to weaponize Pavo, that someone might be worth something to the Emperor. And here we are. Let's just do this quickly and get it over with. This place sucks. I almost wish it was lush again so I could burn it all back down. Rise is overrated. Orion's the only place to party. They're here! Open fire! Shoot to kill! <laughs> did those terrorists manage to find us here? They are more resourceful than you think, clearly. Let's take a look. Ready weapons and open fire! Hmm. 
Looks like these crystals are burned out. Move out, and watch for coalition forces. There's one. Looks like the forward team managed to get our gear hooked up before the Coalition Goon Squad got here. Better make sure it still works, though. One of those mouth breathers might have fiddled with it before we arrived. It's working as expected. See, the guys who tried this before me just started blasting the crystals with agonizers at full power. Didn't work out well, did it? <laughs> but me, I took the finesse approach. I was patient. I modulated the agonizer settings based on the response from each individual crystal, and voila! Success! Your little helpers don't say much, do they? They let their guns do their talking for them, unlike some people. Oh yeah, pew pew pew! Fascinating conversations. Deep. Very deep. It's her! It's Kelly! Shoot her! Shoot her now! Oh, that nickname will never get old. Even after nearly two centuries? Impressive. Sounds like the advance team ran into the Coalition punks. We'll need to tune the crystals ourselves. down. Don't forget to activate the agonizer. operational.
makes three. You know what to do. All right, the agonizers are all five by five. Let's make sure the central control system is still operational. Let's make this happen fast, Inquisitor. There's far too many coalition goons around here lately. settings and then we should be able to send the Emperor's message out to deep space. Watch my back. We've come too far to fail now, and you know the price of failure in the Terran Empire. I'd ask you to surrender, but we all know that's not in the Terran vocabulary. Oh, come on. Is the entire coalition on top of day? Another skull for my trophy hall. How many of you Terrans have to die before you end this? You won't get rid of me that easy. I'm okay. Okay. Just a flesh. Keep fighting! Hope your affairs are in order, Terrans. How many of you Terrans have to die before you end this? You won't get rid of me that easy. Off this hellhole right now. There you have it. Pavo was dangerous enough before, but now I don't want to think about what the Terrans can do with its power. Something needs to be done fast. Based on the data we were able to collect before we had to withdraw, it looks like the Terrans are going to use the antenna on Pavo to send a signal into deep space somewhere. There's more. They set up tech to weaponize Pava. That antenna will turn into a planetary-based cannon of unimaginable power if we don't stop the Terrans. Something that strong might be able to hurt anything, even this other you're talking about. And it'll definitely make short work of any Coalition ship in its sights. Even a Dreadnought.
I think we understand each other here. I know I'm a glorified pirate, but I'm willing to risk it all to stop these bastards. Are you? Well, I'll say this for the pirate. He can make a convincing speech when he wants to. Yeah, enough about him. We need to get moving. You ready to go? Made it. Good timing. The Coalition's taking a beating here, particularly from the Terran flagship. Aw, oh, nice of Tilly to bring my ship out to this hellhole of a planet. If there's even one scratch on my ship's hull, one micrometeorite dent, I will... Well, you know the rest. Murder, death, kill, etc. Let's get to work, shall we? Before the pirate and all his little friends are blown to pieces. Coalition forces, this is raid. The new arrivals are allies. Please don't shoot them. Let's help the other pirates. Oh, the prodigal storm, now return. Ready for another round. Whoa! Tilly left Kumarke in command? <laughs> this day gets better by the minute. done yet. I can use my command codes to use their transporters to beam a boarding party over to the Enterprise. The command codes they know about, yeah. Fortunately for us, I have a backup set of codes and they damn sure don't know about them. Take me with you. You need all the guns you can get over there. I have my doubts about this, but I suppose having some cannon fodder wouldn't hurt. Fine, the pirate can come too. Just stay out of my way and don't touch anything. Everyone ready to beam over? And we made it. With all of our atoms and such in the right place. We need to take control of the ship. And, you know, if Kumarke, Kili, or the Inquisitor are forced to shuffle off this mortal coil, even better. And, uh, bonus points for all three, of course. Helping Lita out with her personal vendettas is not what I'm here for. Settle your old grudges on your own time. It's cute that you think you're in charge, pirate. No, I take that back. It's really annoying. Keep quiet while the grown-ups are talking. 
Now, let's take back my ship. We're near engineering. Let's go there, disable security, take control of the turbolifts, and head to the bridge. It's high time I had a little chat with that treacherous purple hobgoblin after all. Her time sitting in my chair is about to come to an end. I meant what I said about your vendettas, Lita. Oh, and here I thought a pirate thug like you would want to kill Terrans. <laughs> All right, see that engineering alcove? Use the console there to disable the security doors and fields. Pirate, you're on turbo lift controls. We need control of those fast. There's something very dear to me that I need to check on. It won't take long. That's it, that's the plan. Let's make it happen. I don't like this, or her. She can't be trusted. <laughs> the feeling's mutual, pirate. Do your job and this'll all be over soon. How very clever of you. Hmm, it'll take a while to restore control over the security systems. Whatever shall I do to pass the time? How right you are. I believe I have just the thing to amuse myself. Be seeing you. Neither do I, especially since she's loading shuttles with protomatter bombs in the hangar bay. Knowing her, I fully expect she'll order those shuttles to target your ships. And, well, at least they'll die quickly. Kill them all in Look. the Emperor's name! Get it, but every minute we spend not taking the bridge, we Oh, never mind. Budget on this, are you? Fine. Let's get this over with. I don't trust Lita to deal with these bombs. I'll handle them. But I need you to cover me while I work, okay? Check your fire. Do not shoot the protomatter bomb. Behind us! Need 
These bombs are disabled. Moving on to the next set. Taking fire over here! Another set done. Heading to the ones behind that runabout. On the upper level! That's the last one. I think we're done here. There. No more protomatter bombs. Now let's do what we came here for and take back my ship. If I had a strip of latinum for every time I'd heard that, I could buy a small moon. You're quite the persistent little swarm of gnats, aren't you? How very polite of you. Since we're still being civil, let me speak plainly. You will not take command of this vessel, and should you try, you'll learn a very painful and fatal lesson. Do I make myself clear? We'll cover you! Get that force field down! from that console! Allow me to introduce my name. Proton matter powered attack drone. Kumarke's inner force field is still up! Pull the isolinear chip to disable her command console. They're in the panel, in front of the helm. Drones to keep you entertained. What a thing, music! We have to take up. The market's drones are down. She's vulnerable now. Oh, great. More of those damn drones. Enough! The drones are down. Let's finish this! Damn it! She has the drones again. The drones are down again. Take Kumarke out! Oh no, dear Lita. Oh no, no, no! If I can't have the prize, no one will. Computer, activate auto destruct sequence. Authorization, Kumarke, zero, zero. We both could have had the prize. We could have had it all, but no. You wanted it all for yourself. Stabbed me in the back for the favor of a madman. Now you've paid the price for your betrayal. Hope it was worth it. Hello, old girl. I'm back. Computer, open a shipwide channel. Attention, all hands. This is Admiral Lita. Kumarke is dead. 
I am assuming command of this vessel effective immediately. If you disagree, feel free to step out of the nearest airlock and spare me the trouble of hunting you down. I have better things to do. Lita, out. Damn right there is. I need to settle the score with the annoying Ginger who had the nerve to call this her ship. I... I made it. It's too late. I did what I could, but I failed. The other is coming. Here. Now. <laughs> My place is here. In this chair. You need to get back to yours. Ready to beam back to your ship? Damn, it feels good to sit in this chair again. Real good. Just can't let me have my moment of zen, can you? Fine. Let's deal with the Terran ship so that we can get down to Pavo and deal with our Tilly still breathing problem. You have got a lot to answer for, Lita. I am going to make sure you pay for what you've done. <laughs> Bring it, sunshine. You and I have a lot of unfinished Terrans killing Terrans. In the end, you all have a knife ready for everyone else's back. That's how it goes, pirate. The good die young and the vile live long and prosper. I'm detecting an energy surge within the entity. Reading 12th power energy. So, the Emperor's true prize is revealed at last. Oh! 
Looks like your ticket home just got canceled. And more enemy ships are heading our way. <sighs> Not really, no. I suggest taking out those plasma energy bolts the other is firing while we deal with the enemy fleet. Focus on the plasma bolts. Let us worry about the Terrans. can to take that lunatic out, okay? Maybe that's the solution to the situation with the other we've been looking for. The Acheron's shields are too strong. Our weapons have no effect. side, okay? I'm guessing you have a few questions. Well, the Terrans did their best, but it wasn't good enough. We were able to get away under cloak, but the portal tech was badly damaged. We started to conduct repairs, but that was slow going in hostile territory. Thankfully, we made contact with the Coalition. While we worked to get the components we needed to go home, we teamed up with Coalition forces to gather intel on Terran activities, especially those regarding Project Pharaoh. When we got wind of what was going on at Pavo, I was able to get a message through to Starfleet Intelligence. They asked me to remain and observe the Terran fleet movements while Ray Yeet delivered the intel report. 
Indeed. Would have liked a better outcome over Pavo, but we're still alive, able to fight another day. Let's go over all this on Enterprise. We might not have a lot of time before things get dangerous again. I understand the concern over me being dead, but sometimes that can be a big advantage, especially in the spy game. Of course, the Terrans know I'm alive now as well. That'll make work on the other side of the mirror difficult in the future. But breaking cover and rescuing you seemed like the right thing to do. Don't mention it. By the look of things, there's a lot of dangerous work ahead. And we're gonna need all hands on deck. The situation at Pavo is cause for great concern, to be certain. Tactical planners from the Alliance are working on our next steps as we speak. Indeed. Fortunately, we have the data collected by DeSoto and the Coalition in the Mirror Universe. The path to success may lie within that. I can't say I'm thrilled to see Lita in command of one of the most dangerous starships in existence, but these things happen on our side of the mirror. The Coalition could do a lot of good with a ship like that, but we'll keep up the good fight with what we have, when we can. Thanks. And speaking of that good work, I'll be getting back to it shortly. We'll keep an eye on what the Empire does at Pavo. When we have new intel, we'll get it your way. The other is conflicted, angry. No amount of reason would persuade them to stop, to be peaceful. They want revenge on the Creator above all else. They believe the Terran Emperor can make that happen. Yes, the other will stop at nothing to get what they want. In that way, they are very much like the Emperor. We must stop the Emperor. I believe we can still connect with the other and convince them to seek a peaceful resolution to this conflict. We may need to make direct contact at the core of the other, as the crew of Enterprise once did with Vija. That type of contact may succeed where I failed. Enterprise is mine again. Huh, I expect I'll have to deal with a few would-be captains and their attempts to end me. But that comes with the center chair on a Terran ship. Too bad Ilea wasn't able to talk some sense into the other. Not sure I like leaving it in the hands of the Emperor and his lackeys. Especially Kili. Looks like things are wrapping up here. I don't think it'll be long before we meet again and get convinced to do something outrageous and dangerous. <sighs> Ready to return to your ship? Security bioscan complete. Access granted. Computer, transport Object 53 Sigma to my location. Hello, old friend.
I've reviewed your report several times now, and it's still hard to believe what has happened. The Terran Emperor has summoned the Mirror Universe version of V'ger, and means to subjugate it somehow. And to attempt such a thing is madness, and yet, the Emperor and his forces are out to do the impossible. What's worse, they may succeed. I've called for emergency meetings with our partners in the Alliance. We need a plan. When we have one, we'll be in touch.